Here we're going to demonstrate uh, the spin game, and Charlie has volunteered to be my super helper. And what Charlie's going to do is he's going to stand inside um, a hula hoop, or just you don't absolutely need a hula hoop. You could just stand on, on the carpet, but I like the hula hoop because it gives the eye something to focus on. And Charlie's going to put his hands out 90 degrees. His palms are going to go to the ceiling. And Charlie's going to look down at the hula hoop. And Charlie, um, we're going to go around for videoing purposes. We're going to go five times to the left, okay? All right, ready, Charlie? We're going to the left. Ready? So give a spin. A um, little slower, Charlie. Yeah, but, yeah, like, you want, that's one, two. You want the child to spin around at a, at an even rate, not too slow and not too fast, and stop. And when he stops, I'm going to put my fingers up like this, and I'll say, Charlie, and I'm going to, I want him to go from left to right. So I'm going to say, Charlie, how many fingers do you see? Seven. Excellent. Give me not, bro. Okay, now whatever we do to the left, we're going to do to the right. Right, Charlie? Let's come on back there, bro. So we're going to put our hands out like this. Going to, going to, palms are up. He's looking down. Now we're going to go to the right. And we're going to go clockwise this time. He's going to go around once. Try to keep your arms up just a little bit higher, Charlie. Two, three, four, five. He's going to stop. And I'm going to say, Charlie, look at this. How many fingers do I have? Start with this finger. Excellent. Okay, and what I want to do, or I suggest people to do, to do the spin game before the child reads, or maybe before they do homework, but definitely before they, they're asked to use their eyes in a horizontal plane, because that's what we're facilitating here. Thank you.